Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Rancho Del Arroyo and we're going to be doing the Bighorn Sheep Guide. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the Bighorn Sheep here on Rancho, they actually have two different drink times. The first one is from 4 to 8 in the morning as you can see right there. And then the second one is from 11 to 1400. So that's the one we're going to be hunting today. That's the one I when I was looking for zones, that's the one that I was looking for. So that's the one we're going to be focusing on. But if you want to hunt that 4 to 8, you can get the high-tech pack. It'll get you the night vision binoculars and the night vision scope. It'll help you in that early morning hunt when it's still dark. But they are class 4 animals, so that's going to give you quite a few different options on the guns you could use. Today we have with us the 303, the M1, the Malmer 7mm, and these are the 308. So all four of these guns are fantastic. As long as it covers class 4, you're good to go. Max level is 5 medium. Max weight is 160 kg. Silver is 90.3, gold is 132.7, and diamond is 164.6. Common fur types, they only have one, and that's brown. Uncommon fur types, they have black, bronze, and gray brown. And then rare fur type, they have albino, and that's the only one. So that's pretty much going to do it here for the information. They don't have any collars or anything like that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go take down some bighorn sheep. We're going to be starting things off at this lake right here on the right side of the map, and it's actually a really, really good one for the Bighorn. has quite a few zones on it. This outpost is the Casa de los Marino. So we're going to be taking a look at this zone right here because of that guy right there. He's a big level 4, 150 to 171. Has a really strong shot to actually be a diamond level 4. Now, is he going to be a diamond level 4? I don't know, but he has a good shot. Um, 164, like we said, is diamond, so we are going to take him down. This is a level 3, 119 to 141, and then a level 2, 106 to 127. So this zone only has three in it, but they're all males. So let's go ahead and get him down. I mean, he's got some decent curl going on right there. I don't know if it's enough to be a diamond. My last diamond bighorn sheep that I got was actually a diamond level 4, and it was a big surprise. So if then this one makes it, it'd be pretty cool, I think. So let's go ahead and just get him there, and that'll be fantastic. And he's not going to be a floater, so that's good as well. But the bighorn sheep, much like the mule deer here on um, Rancho del Arroyo, they drink on the right side of the map. So basically, if you cut it in half right through here, all the way down, they don't drink at this lake. So if you cut it all the way in half right through here, all the way down, they're going to drink on the bottom half, and then all the lakes just over here. So let's get over here and let's get this level 4. Do have another herd over here. This one's a level 4, 125 to 147. I've been on the smaller side for a level 4. He doesn't even go up to max weight potential. This one here is a level 3, 117 to 138, and I think that's it for the males. I think the rest of these are just females. But here's our level 4 um, diamond potential male. Let's pick him up and see if he actually is. Definitely has some decent curl going on there, and he will in fact just be a gold at 155.14, so definitely on the smaller end of things there, which I honestly did not expect him to be a diamond, but it'd been cool if he was. But got him in the double lung. Fantastic shot, and they're going to drop like that every time if you get into the double lung. That was at 181 meters on this guy. We are now going to be at this lake in the middle of the map, this outpost. It's going to be the Casa de los Castro, and we're at this zone right here. It's got a decent level 4 in it once again. There he is right there, 144 to 166. So he does have a chance to be a diamond level 4 as well. Is he going to be a diamond level 4? Probably not, because he had to literally score the top end of his estimates. But he has a chance there. There's also a couple decent level 3s. That one's a 114 to 135. The one right beside him, if we can actually get a spotting on him, is a level 3, 109 to 130. And I think that might be it. I don't think there's any others. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and focus on the level 4 here. We'll go ahead and get the M1 out, and let's go ahead and take him down. Of course, I have the night vision scope on there, so just blinding myself. I do that just about every time. But yeah, let's go ahead and go for that shot there, and should be good. Should be into like a single lung. If we can actually spot him, he's actually going to be down already, so it does not matter. Here we have him, and then there's the vital blood right over there, indicating we did, in fact, get a good shot. So he'll be a gold at 148.80, so not as big as the 155, but still a decent one. Gold is 132.78, but we got him there in the left lung, so it was a single lung shot. Was hoping we'd get into the heart, but looks like we were just a few inches away from it there. But that was at 182 meters on that shot. We are now here in the bottom right hand corner of the map at this lake, the closest outpost to the one that I came from is this one right here, the Casa de los Venezuela. So we have another level 4 up ahead that has, I'm pretty sure the same exact estimates as the other one we just took down. Don't remember what his bottom end was, but this one goes up to 166 as well. So once again, a diamond potential level 4 that's not going to make diamond, but still has a chance. And then we have this level 3 here, which is a 118 to 140, so he's decent. Let's focus on the level 4, let's get the Malmer 7mm. Let's go ahead and let's take him down. So we'll get him down. Might be able to get this one. I probably could have shot him, but honestly, I'm just not even going to do it. So the level 4 is already down over there. We folded him over as soon as we hit him. So let's get him. 
Here we have this level 4 and he's going to be a gold at 147.55, so one point below the previous one, the other one was a 148, but got this guy in the left lung and the right lung, a little bit low on that shot, obviously would have loved to have got better, at least into the middle of the lungs, but double lung, it's going to drop him every time like that, and that was at 212 meters for the shot. To wrap things up, we're going to be at this lake. It's down here, still in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. It's just left of the one we just came from, and this is the same outpost. But it has a, um, a few level 3s over here. We actually have a bunch of whitetail coming in right now. But we have some level 3s, not the biggest ones ever, 112 to 133. And then that one right there is a 126 to 147, so he's decent. And then 121 to 142. So we have some options. We'll probably just take that one right there since he's giving us the best overall shot. But then over here to my right, we do have another zone. That is literally all females, so that that's something, I guess. So let's go ahead and let's get down this level 3 right here with these Zarza 308. And then, like I said, we'll wrap things up after that. We actually visited the four major lakes where the Bighorn are, and that's going to drop him on the spot. Is that one going to flee? He's going to flee. Finally, we have our level 3, and he is just going to be a silver at 121.91. Got him in the left lung and the right lung, so that was a fantastic shot. And he is our smallest one of the day. But that's pretty much going to do it here for this part of the guide, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the map guide. I will show you where your zones are and everything like that. Here's the Rancho Del Arroyo Bighorn Sheep map guide, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Like I said in the video, they're going to be on the entire right side of the map. We went to the four big lakes today, but you also have some small lakes that are kind of spread out just all along that right side. You will also find the Bighorn down there on the coast, but that pretty much does it here for me, so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, and if it was, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. really does help out the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.